Hey everyone, between the pollen and uh, the congestion and just the events of this week, I was looking for something to cheer us all up. And uh, nothing cheers me up more than a mystery box from outside the United States, especially if it comes from England. And this one has shown up on my doorstep from the UK. Uh, it's sent uh, by Benjamin Elgar, who is a longtime friend of the channel and an amazing action figure customizer. And he always sends these surprise boxes. I should say, when he sends a box, I know there's always some kind of surprise in it. Um, and uh, I couldn't believe that this box was on my doorstep. So uh, I thought we'd just open it up and see what's in it. So I've got my, I've got my cutter here, and let's just do this. All right, we have our bubble wrap. It's always important to check the bags. There's nothing in this bag. <clears throat> nope. Custom serious face. Oh, this, see now this is cool, okay? <clears throat> so this is an action figure of Tom Baker as Doctor the Doctor. Um, and if you look at it in close up, wow, look at this. You will notice that um, he has a somber face uh, with his hat on. Now, the company character options always um, put the doctor with his hat on with the smile. And then when his hat was off in the sculpt, they gave him the serious face. And then after that, uh, they gave him like dedicated heads. But this was the one with the swappable head, the original. This original one never had the hat on with the somber face. So that's kind of cool uh, to see that. I mean, it looks really well done. It's, it's really nicely done. I mean, yeah, that's, that's really well done. All right, what else do we have here? Ah. Uh, all right, check this out. This is David Tennant, the 10th Doctor, in his tuxedo when he was hanging out on the Space Titanic with Kylie Minogue, uh, who played Astrid Peth in Voyage of the Damned. So I'll be definitely displaying him with my Kylie Minogue Astrid Peth figure. And what have we here? Ah, we have the fifth doctor, Peter Davison, with his Sonic. Now, what's interesting as I'm looking at this, I can tell that because of his pants, this is the, the fifth doctor from the Caves of Androzani, I believe, which is my favorite fifth doctor story. Uh, it's one of the best Doctor Who's ever made. Um, so this is a really exciting addition to, to my collection uh, because that's my favorite fifth doctor story. So I have him from that episode. Oh, and look at this. If it'll ever come out. It's K9. And he's in his original television colors from the classic era, the sort of graphite gray rather than the blue gray that he was uh, painted with in the modern series. That's really cool. All right. You ever notice how the pattern of bubble wrap kind of looks like the wall of the TARDIS, like the classic TARDIS? Close the door, Susan. <laughs> Just an observation. All right, what do we have here? Oh. oh my gosh, I'm seeing stuff. Oh, I see more authentic jelly babies. I just ran out. So Benjamin, I just ran out of these from the last time you sent them. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And what's this here? More bubble wrap. Hmm. 
Oh, interesting. This is... Huh. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. This is a uh, vintage uh, Doctor Who figure container with Ace's bat in the bottom from Daple. Um, I don't see Ace in here. Maybe she'll turn up or maybe he's sending me a spare accessory, which, you know, any spare accessory from the Daple set is something that, you you know, it's hard to come by. Oh, here we go. Ah, this is the seventh Doctor. Also, it appears to be a custom. So this is Sylvester McCoy, who played the seventh Doctor, the last, cla well, second to last classic Doctor in the late 80s. He had the same issue in the action figure line as Tom Baker. If he had his hat on, he had the smiley face. If he didn't have his hat on, he had the, the somber face. This one's been customized so that he, he can have his hat on with the somber face because Sylvester McCoy was actually quite a mysterious and serious doctor at times. So that's really exciting. I can't wait to display that one as well. Although I might be tempted to swap his head with another version of him that I have so that I can have him in that outfit with a somber head with the hat on. But I digress. Wow, it's an original Target book. Doctor Who and the Horns of Naimon. Wow. I mean, I don't have any of the Target novels. I know a lot about them, but I don't have any of them until today. So this is amazing. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you so much. I will be reading this. Thank you. I've seen the story, but I wonder if the novelization makes the, uh, the monster a little easier to uh, believe in. Oh my gosh, look at this. The only Doctor I didn't have. He sent me the, the new character options, 13th Doctor, the Jodie Whittaker Doctor. Mint on the card, no less. Thank you, man. That's the only one I didn't have from the whole lineup uh, as far as like the Doctors were concerned. Dude, I can't thank you enough. This is awesome. Thank you so much. Oh. Huh. It's going to be hard to see on camera, but he sent me old money from, oh my gosh, what? 1948, 1939. Hold it up. This is like World War II era money. That's awesome. I'll be putting that in the display cases up in the living room. That is amazing. Now look at this. The Doctor Who 1991 annual, which was two years after the show had, I'm sorry, 1981 annual, which would have been the last year of uh, Tom Baker's run. So that would have been season 18. Um, well, I wonder what's in this. Oh, wow. It's fully like painted artwork, illustrations from the various episodes and adventures. Oh man, this is cool. Look at that. That is cool. Oh, and full comics in the back. Just beautiful work. This is the kind of stuff that I just... I, lo I love this kind of quality, uh, you know, what's the word? Ephemera? Is that right? Yeah. Um, I love this stuff. Oh, there's one more. Please do not bend. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh. It's for you, Melinda. Oh my God! <gasps> so this is uh, oh, yay. this is uh, Bernard Cribbins, who played Donna Noble's grandfather in David Tennant's run of Doctor Who. You just you seem to be drifting, sweetheart. I'm not drifting. I'm waiting. What for? 
the right man. Oh, 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 same old story, a man. He's the best. And uh, this says, to Melinda, love Bernard Cribbins. So, yeah, so we're going to put this in a big framing. Thank you so much. We're going to put this in a big framing uh, that we've been working on for Melinda. She has a whole David Tennant framing thing that we're, that we're working on. Yeah, this is my favorite part. Uh, I, I can imagine. Oh, was it me getting you uh, Donna, uh, Donna or John no, Barrowman? I got you David Tennant. It's personalized. I know. <laughs> I think this is her favorite character in the whole modern run. And let's see. I think there's... Whoops. Sorry, Sylph. And finally... Uh-oh. Look at this. Holy cow. To Michael from Tom Baker. Yaha. -uh. Uh -huh. Look at that. I never forget a face. I know you don't. And in years to come, you might find yourself revisiting a few, but just the old favorites. Eh? Now, I know for a fact that Benjamin has been in the same room with, with Tom Baker. Um, and apparently it's it's rather um, uh, easy uh to uh, contact him when you're living in the UK to get an autograph through the mail, which is really, I mean, just, and he's got the jelly babies in the photograph. Oh, come on. That's, that's awesome. That's cool. I'll definitely be framing that for. Is it better than my Bernard Cribbins? I mean, I think they're equally think they're awesome in cool. their own way. Yeah. I mean, cause Bernard Cribbins was in the Peter Cushing movie. He was in the, one of the Doctor Who movies in the sixties. So he's a legacy performer too. Oh, just great stuff. Dude, I can't thank Benjamin you enough. Is the best. Benjamin is the best. And um, I've got a mystery box coming your way, sir. Uh, maybe not as mysterious as all this. This is just unreal. But I do have a box coming your way this week. Uh, so. Is it blue? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> ha ha ha. Yeah, it goes vorp vorp. So, um, so yeah. Dude, thank you so much for this. This has really been uh this it's is made our week. Yes, this has made our week. This is this has we been a it. yeah, this has been a nice uptick to the week for sure. So uh yeah, I'm gonna put these guys on display and, and get a few photos, get get David Tennant here with Kylie Minogue and um definitely get Jody uh out of the box and, and get her in the display case. So um Thank you, Benjamin. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video, whatever it may be.